John Oliver is blasting Florida Governor Ron DeSantis for the reason behind eliminating Disney's special privileges of self-government. Last month, DeSantis made the move against Disney, backed by Florida Republicans, as a retaliation for Disney's opposition to the so-called Don't Say Gay law. While Oliver isn't necessarily upset that Disney will have to pay more taxes, he's got a big problem with the reason and the Florida governor. Ron DeSantis, governor of Florida, and a man who has what I can only describe as green book vibes. The Reedy Creek Improvement District, as it's called, provides electricity as well as fire and EMS services to Disney. The dissolution of the district may have major ripple effects. In addition to possibly violating the contract clause of Florida Constitution, Oliver also points out Florida state law requires the county assumes the district's debt when it's dissolved, which could mean that Orange and Osceola counties, where the district is, inherits upwards of $1 billion in bond debt. Oliver summed up his feelings in one thought. And look, do I think it's bad if Disney pays more taxes? No, I don't. That would be a good thing. I don't love that it might happen not through meaningful tax reform, but on the whim of one right-wing dip who's scared of gay people and doesn't understand the First Amendment. But hey, <laughs> ends means what are you going to do? For more on this story, head to THR.com. And for the latest entertainment news and updates, keep watching The Hollywood Reporter News.